Yeah, we had a string of these uh, 80 plus degree days moving in and even touching 90 in a few spots uh, over the next few days and the humidity comes with that heat. Uh, this afternoon I've been watching these clouds start to collapse a little and uh, that's going to be a trend into the evening. Temperature at 85 degrees at the airport. That's the high temperature so far uh, up in Vienna. Here at the station we're a little hotter. We're in the upper 80s here in the city and temperatures bouncing all over the 80s here this evening. Uh, 84 in Cortland, 88 in Salem, 80 in the city of Youngstown downtown uh, and 82 over in Mercer in western Pennsylvania uh, showed you the humidity a little earlier in the newscast. Yes, it's humid. It's going to stay that way all night long. Here's a look at Doppler radar. No need to worry about some showers out there. Uh, the clouds starting to fall apart and I'm expecting that trend uh, right into tonight. Quiet weather across central Ohio and it's all moving on in. Uh, the only problem going to be tonight some fog that tries to develop later tonight into tomorrow morning. So if you're heading out early in the morning, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, give yourself a little extra time. Here's what I'm watching out west. Now we're going to have several ripples, several disturbances moving through here as the week goes on. One about 800 miles away, another one up in southern Canada. Now the timing on these is what's tough because that's when the heaviest rain will be pushing in. Uh, but rain and the chance of thunderstorms moving back into my forecast, especially Thursday on into Friday. Friday of this week. Here's future tracker for the evening. Again, the clouds moving on out. Watch for that fog through tomorrow morning. It's going to be a warm start, a humid start uh, to your Wednesday morning. Temperatures in the mid 60s. As we go through the day tomorrow, I'm expecting highs right back in the upper 80s uh, later tomorrow afternoon. Now, there's an isolated chance, an isolated shower or a storm that can pop up later tomorrow afternoon. We have to hit the upper 80s, close to 90 to get those showers and storms going. But later tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, that one disturbance tries to slide on in and that'll pop off a few showers or thunderstorms tomorrow night and, and then waiting on that next wave to move in on Thursday and another one on into Friday. You get the, the hint there as the week goes on. As those waves move in, our chances increase. Tonight, 63. Watch for that. That fog into first thing tomorrow morning. 88 your high temperature tomorrow. Another humid day, a partly sunny day, and a mainly dry day. Just that isolated shower or storm late day. Uh, pollen tracker looking at mold and weed being the main problems. Uh, grass pollen pretty much down and the tree pollen down as well. So a little good news if you suffer from those type of pollens. As the seven day forecast uh, uh, continues, if you don't like the heat, you're not going to like the next few days, that's for sure. Upper 80s tomorrow, mid to upper 80s on Thursday mid 80s on Friday, staying humid, showers and storms around could be some brief heavy rainfall, even the chance for some stronger thunderstorms later this week at risk of rain sticking around through Saturday, a little cool down uh, for the weekend then drying out again as we go into Sunday. Sunday actually looks pretty nice, low humidity, uh, temperatures a little cooler, but don't get used to it. It gets hot again right through the middle of next week. Hey, if we get one day in seven, that's nice. We'll enjoy that that's throughout right. the summer, huh? And we need the rainfall. So sure. we're, too we're much actually, brown grass out there. There's a lot of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting to that critical point, you know, whether or not that rain can recover. Yeah. So we need to get that rain coming down. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Paul.